Hello, I'm Jay Bowman, Managing Director of Research and Analytics at FMI. And I want to thank you for your interest in our second quarter forecast for 2020. Much has obviously changed since we last talked about the outlook for 2020, whether it's the pandemic caused by COVID-19, the oil and gas prices being depressed to such low levels, or even the political and social unrest that we're seeing all across the globe. All of these things obviously having a very significant impact on our outlook for construction, not only for the rest of this year, but even going into next year. When you consider that our non-residential construction index fell to below 37, where 50 represents the growth in the market, which is a full 31 percentage points below where we were during the previous quarter. So again, perhaps a good amount of pessimism about the market. And we'll talk a little bit about what we're projecting particularly for the remainder of the year, but why there is also reasons to be optimistic about the market as well. So what are our projections here at the end of the second quarter for construction spending overall for the United States? Well, for 2020, we're projecting a total decline of roughly 9%. This compares to 0% or no change in 2019, so quite a bit of difference. And then even at the sector level, whether it's residential buildings being down 11%, non-residential buildings down nine. For some, it may be surprising to have non-building structures down 5%, particularly when we think that it's infrastructure-related construction that has typically fared best during times of recession. When we look at the loss of tax revenue for most states down 50% during the month of April compared to just a year ago, this is gonna to translate to roughly a 20% decline in budgets for fiscal year 2021. And when we see declines in public budgets, typically the first thing to go is construction. So when we start to look at construction over the next five years, taking a little bit of a longer look, and now at the segment level, again, we see that a majority of the segments are down or flat. And only few are actually projected to have strong growth over the next five years. However, this is really somewhat misleading when you start to think of some of those sub-segments or those smaller niche markets that actually might have tremendous amount of growth. Take, for example, manufacturing. Overall, over the next five years, projected to decline around 2%. However, pharmaceutical and medical device construction might actually increase perhaps as much as double digits over the next couple of years. And even when we look at things like highway and street, up roughly 1%, but one of the fastest growing segments in this market being intelligent transportation systems. And even in the commercial segment, down 5%, but distribution and cold storage construction, perhaps two of the fastest growing sub-markets or niches in this country. In fact, if you look historically, distribution and warehouse-related construction, including cold storage as a percent of overall commercial construction, in 2015 was just 25%. Last year, 42%. So what are those three lessons that we can take, again, from past recessions to help us navigate this current one? Well, number one, our industry lags the overall economy typically by a year to a year and a half. I mean, we really probably won't feel the full effects of all that's occurred in the last couple of months until 2021. Two, in times of heightened uncertainty, it is important to have contingency plans in place, particularly given how quickly situations can change in the environment that we live in. And then third, bull markets and bear markets coexist. There will always be opportunities for growth if we can find those. So thank you again for your interest in our second quarter forecast of construction spending put in place for 2020. There's a lot to be learned. There's a lot to be known about how to navigate this specifically in your own situation. Therefore, I encourage you to download the full copy of the report at www.fminet.com as well as to speak with one of our consultants or investment bankers about how they can help you determine how best to position in the current market.